Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to run a check disk scan on your Windows 10 computer. So this should be a fairly quick tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. First thing I'd recommend doing is you want to locate whatever your drive label is for your Windows computer. So for most people, the local disk should be the C drive. So if you're unsure, you want to open up the Start menu and type in this PC. Best man should say this PC right above desktop app. Left click on it to open it up. And whatever your local disk is, it's listed here, is the one you want to take note of. So you see it's the C drive. So remember that if it might be D or E, you want to take note of that as well. Once you've done that, you want to open up the star menu, type in command prompt, and best match should say command prompt directly above desktop app. Underneath best match, command prompt should be the best match right above desktop app. Right click on it, then left click on run as administrator. And then if you receive a user account control window, you want to select yes. Now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in chk, dsk, space, and now whatever your drive letter was from earlier, I'm going to assume most people are going to be the C drive here as it was in my case. I'm going to type C, so uppercase C, and then I'm going to put a colon in which is basically just two dots, one on top of the other. And then you want to do another space, forward slash F. So you want it to appear exactly how it does on my screen right here. And then once you've done that, you want to hit enter. And it's going to ask if you want to restart your computer because you have to restart in order to run the scan on a currently active drive. So you want to basically close out of any programs or applications you have on your computer, save them, and then come back into this command prompt window and type the Y key, and then hit enter on your keyboard, restart your computer, and then it should begin running the disk check scan. Now, if you wanted to know an alternative way of doing it, that's fine. I'm going to show you guys the second way to do it. And that would be to open up the star menu, type in this PC, and the best match should say this PC directly above desktop app. You want to left click on that one time to open it up. And now for your local disk here, again, in my case, it's a C drive, but this is very easy. If you have other drives, you can do it as well, both of these methods, basically. And you want to right click on the local disk here and left click on properties at the bottom of the context menu. And now you want to go up to the tools tab. So left click on tools. And then there should be something that says error checking. This option will check the drive for file system errors. Left click on this check box or check button right here. And it might say that you don't need to scan this drive. We haven't found any errors. Just left click on scan drive right here. And it should begin scanning the drive. Now keep in mind that you should run the command line window should be your first and primary option here because this can only scan if you needed to actually repair any of your hard disk or hard drive sectors you'd have to restart your computer and run it when the disk is not active. So that is definitely a drawback to going through this method because you still have to achieve the same result of restarting your computer. Unless, of course, it's not a drive that's in use. So we're assuming you have an issue with your Windows drive in this tutorial, but if you had a problem with your flash drive or some kind of external media, you would not have to restart your computer. You wouldn't be prompted to. So I just wanted to put that point out there as well. But I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out, give you a couple ideas on how to run the disk checkup utility. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.